Today we're outside at our out outdoor training area in Sheffield and we're going to talk a little bit about the importance of a, a sound structure and bracing and how Gripple can help with that bracing. So we know that solar farms are going into more and more remote places and we're dealing with a lot of external forces. We need this frame to be sound, we need it to be structurally solid to protect these panels against high winds, against snow, ice and in the UK sheep and other wildlife for example but because we're, as I said, solar is getting to more and more remote areas, it's even more important we do this properly. So there are many tools in engineers' toolkit to be able to deal with uh, the stability of the structure. First and foremost, you can get your foundation set. You can go deeper and bigger with your foundations to deal with these forces that are trying to move the frame about. We can also put bigger joints on. We can put trusses. We can increase the amount of steel we're using and all to get a stronger frame. However, there's a lot of cost in all them things. We're bringing more and more steel onto site. Steel's expensive at the moment, we know that. Potentially bigger machinery to drive deeper piles in remote areas, that's not helpful at all. But in all these circumstances, there's more and more materials to handle. That's more carbon emissions and more difficult installs on site. So, like I said, there's a lot of, lot of ways we can combat this movement. Um, but bracing is the thing that Gripple's good at and what we're going to talk about today. So, as forces are put on a frame, several different moments can happen depending on the wind direction or the seismic activity, for example, and that can create different stresses on the frame. So, to deal with stresses, engineers usually use more steel. Now, I appreciate that some people watching this may already brace. Uh, not all solar frames are braced. So, we're really talking about a few things here. One, what happens if you brace for the first time, what savings you can make, or two, if you already brace, what benefits you can get by working with Gripple. As we've said in a previous webinar, we are engineers, we understand what to do with bracing, we've got vast experience in the seismic industry, and we're now applying that to solar. So essentially what we're trying to do is share moments across the frame. We want to say, the moment on top of this post shared to the bottom of this post. So your moment is your force times your length. So by using a brace, the force that I'm putting on here is transferred down this bracing system and applied to this pile down here, which means there is a lower length, so a, a smaller moment acting on that frame. So very quickly, we've managed to spread out where the moments are and reduce the forces, not reduce the forces, but reduce the reactions that are on that frame. And what that means is we can reduce the amount of steel in the frame itself. So instead of having large sections with big moments of inertia, we can get them much thinner and just by spreading them forces around the, the, around the frame. Now, like I've said earlier on, that's really important because we're going to get savings on CO2 and handling and also on steel prices. Like I keep saying that that's shot up. So bracing is a really, really good, easy technique to, to, to spread that, them forces around the frame. Gripple are really, really good at it because there's several ways you can do this. You can use a solid member, you can use a rod going from corner to corner. Then you've got to deal with tension and buckling. So obviously you have to account for buckling forces in that, which may make your sections larger. Other than that, you could use chains or other various kind of tension members. But Gripple, we're a wire rope company, so we use wire rope. So that means it's very, it only works in tension, it's very directional but that means we can use lightweight materials to do it. And understanding how that tension works, we can put multiple braces across a frame to spread them loads out and reduce the amount of overall steel. We've done some examples where we've saved up to 40%, or sorry, 40 kilos worth of steel out of, a, out of a 20 meter long section. We've also saved much, much higher percentages in other, in other applications, depending if people are already bracing or not. So bracing systems can work on any frame sort, fixed tilt, uh, tracker frames, anything that you guys are doing, we can help out with. I really encourage you to get in touch with us, see how eng our engineers can work with you to build a system together, take some of your traditional bracing or truss work out, or add bracing in for the first time. So, wire rope's great, it's lightweight. This in my hand here is enough to do a six metre brace. So you can imagine that in, in, in equivalent as a six metre rod or a six metre length of chain, doesn't weigh much, but it's incredibly strong, and that's the great nature of wire rope. 
So now what we're going to do is just cut to a video that shows you how the, the, frame, uh, the braces are installed on a frame. Um, so it's a cut to a previous video we did at our other site in Sheffield at Riverside. So you'll see me dressed in some site gear trying to install one of these. So just have a look at that and I encourage you to ask any questions. Just get in touch with us on the chat on the live webinar. Uh, un someone's always going to be there to answer the questions as well. And we're also going to push out some documents while this is on. So you can download some of the technical specification sheets and understand what we're doing. So we'll just cut to that now and then we'll go through a bit more about what wire rope is and how we work with it and, some, and finish off with some of the benefits of doing that. Now we're back from watching the demonstration video, I'm just going to show you a little bit more close up um, just to introduce you to the PV tensioner. Basically how it works is wire rope can go in one way and move through a channel but can't come back the other so it automatically locks in that channel. Then you can loop around and back in the other side and you've created a, a loop that's not going to go anywhere. Now what you can do with that then is continue to add tension in one direction so you've got a performing brace across your structure. Um, if you do make mistakes we have little release keys that you can use to just back the wire back out but the beauty of these products are as well they're also lockable so we have an allen key system as well where you can literally just get in there turn a lock in the product to lock it off against any dynamic movement to prevent any jacking or things that happen can happen on site. So it's really fast and easy to install. It's a decent looking system. It can, you can apply tension easily and you can reapply tension easily as well um, if you ever need to add more tension to the system. So we've touched on the uh, application generally, how it can be used to really improve the structure of a system, move material away from the second moment inertia um, and share the moments across the system. It's really, really handy stuff because we make it out of um, outdoor grade materials it's not going to corrode it will last the lifetime of your site and we have engineers there that can help determine that we have various different diameters depending on what kind of loads that we need to take in what situation if you've got very high wind loads for example we might need to go to a bigger diameter wire rope so we're capable of that as well again i implore you to get in touch with our engineering team that can really really help you make them decisions um, bracing doesn't just work by stiffening up your, your structure it can also work to realign your structure. If you've had existing sites that have started to move, till or fail, and you think it's risking the integrity of the overall site, you can come along with the bracing system and re-square up that system and get it working better for the long run. The great thing as well about wire rope, like I say, it's, it's transportable, it's easy to use, it's nice and flexible. You don't need skilled labor to install these things, but also that it offers no shading to the back of the uh, solar array. In one of the future webinars, we're going to talk a lot about bifacial solar, about how reflection from the ground can help increase the efficiencies on solar farms. 
So it's really important that this doesn't get in the way of the sun reflecting back up onto the back, like a more traditional bracing or truss method might do. So that's essentially the wire rope and how that works and some of the various applications. Um, to learn a little bit more about that, like I said, we're putting some documents out uh, where you can understand a bit more of the technical details of the product, what materials are involved, what the loads are and things like that. But as part of this webinar, we're also going to put out a document that really just justifies bracing a little bit more. And we've identified some of the common problems you can see on site and how bracing can help with that. What's really important to understand as well about Gripple, which I mentioned in the first webinar, if you missed that, it's available to watch on YouTube. Um, but Gripple, we're a manufacturer, we make everything ourselves and we want to work hand in glove with you on your site and your engineers. So we can adapt this with various different brackets or protection systems to go on any mounting structure there is. So it can really work flexibly with what's going on on site. So in conclusion, with Gripple, we can get an understanding of what's going on in your site. Our engineers can get involved and make sure we specify the right system at the right time. And with that system, we can save a lot of money because of the um, amount of steel we can reduce. We can take out a lot of the structural steel by sharing them moments, but also handling, skilled labor, and CO2 emissions are all reduced by using Gripple. And we're widely available. Um, we've got a global footprint and we're ready, willing, and able to work with you on your site in your region. So I just want to thank you again for listening to this brief webinar. Stay tuned for some more webinars throughout the coming months as well. We're going to look at anchoring, we're going to look at cable management, and we're going to look at bifacial solar. So please watch them, keep signing up and getting involved. Please ask plenty of questions. And like I keep saying, if you ever want to get in touch with us to discuss a site, we'd love to work on a site-by-site -site basis, help with site trials, help with your calculations. Please feel free to do so. We're a friendly bunch, just get in touch.